Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your 79th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically work with the Sound Pool class because I talked about this quite a few tutorials ago. Um, because again, uh, we've used Media Player, which is for the longer sounds, but when we use explosion sounds, gunshots, short audio clips, we want to use the Sound Pool class. I'll kind of talk about how that's beneficial and why we do that in this tutorial as well, or maybe the next one. I'm not for sure how long this is going to take shouldn't take too long here but just set up a new class called sound stuff and get it going within your menu class within that array and also within uh, your manifest extends activity on create nothing new here and then we're just gonna create a new view and we're just gonna call this V for our view and we're gonna say new view um, and we're gonna pass in the context for this and that's just gonna create a new view for us and uh, now what we're going to say is just something like, um, i get gather my thoughts here, v dot on click listener because we're going to have basically whenever they touch the screen, we could just say on, you know, touch listener as well. But we're going to do on click listener and then we're just going to say this um, and then we're going to let this activity implement the on click listener so we can use um, use the method there. And so then all we have to do is add the implement methods, and we have our on click method. Again, nothing new. And we're just going to say set content view for this view that we just set up here. It's just going to take up the whole screen, and it has a click listener attached to it. So we're going to say view. And there we go. Uh, we have our activity set up now. Now let's set up our actual uh, sound pool class. So what we're going to say. Um, we're going to go above this method here for a sound pool and we're just going to say sound pool and we're going to call the sound pool object SP and then just import our sound pool and we're going to set up this SP to be equal to new sound pool object and within the constructor or within these parameters to send back we're going to say um, 5 uh, basically this first parameter well I'll, I'll show you after we type it out and then for the second parameter, we're going to say audio manager dot stream uh, stream music, and that'll just be the way that we're going to stream the music. And then we're just going to hit uh, zero for the third parameter. And there we go. We have our sound pool object set up. Now, basically, if I hover over here, you can see it takes in the three parameters: max stream. That's going to say how many we're going to allow, um, how many sounds we're going to allow at the same time to be able to be playing. Um, so we're going to have, we're going to allow up to five explosions. Um, and this clip is probably, a, I don't know, half a second, third of a second. I don't know. It's really short. So if there's five explosions, that's probably quite a bit. Um, but this just kind of handles, you know, we don't want to have billions of, of sounds going all at once. It kind of handles how much, uh, how many streams you can have. So we're going to allow five. And the next type is the way that we want to stream the audio. And just the normal um, audio manager for this example for game applications will normally use uh, stream music. So that's what we're going to use. And the third parameter, it's the sample rate. Basically, right now, it doesn't have any effect. So set zero to default. That third parameter means, means nothing right now because uh, Android Android developers haven't really set that up yet in the SDK. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually, um, you know, access the sound from a resource, which is our explosion. O um, so uh, o OGG. So let's get that set up. So we're going to say our explosion, and this is going to be an int. Okay. So let's uh, let's set this up here. We're going to say int explosion. And there we go. Now we're going to define it down here. Is that how you spell explosion? I don't know. If I spelled that wrong, I'm sorry. But for some reason, it looks wrong. And then we're just going to say explosion. Then we're going to refer to our sound pool object that we just created, sp. Dot, and we're going to say load. And there's a few different ways to load. If you guys save the sound within your assets folder, you can use this as assets file descriptor and set the priority or if you have a string path you can use that as well and since we're loading from the resource folder and we're going to use the ID we're going to use this uh, third load uh, which takes context the ID and the priority 
Um, and the priority basically has no effect as well. And it says use the value of one. Um, use a value of one for future uh, capability. Um, so we're just going to click that there. For the context, we're going to say this. The ID, we're going to say r dot raw dot explosion. And for priority, again, it's told us to say one for future capability. Or uh, And for the third one, we're just going to say one. So there we go. We have that explosion now set up. Now all we have to do is we have to just basically play um, our explosion. So we're going to say anytime our view is clicked, we're going to use this onClick method to play our explosion. So we're just going to say explosion, and then we're going to say dot play. Why well, isn't loading here? Okay, we're going to say actually our our sound pool now down here. So we're going to say our sound pool dot um, and now play. And as you can see, it takes an int, which is basically that explosion that we set up, a uh, left volume, a right volume, a priority, um, which is, you know, zero is the lowest priority. Loop, zero equals it's not going to loop, and negative one says it's going to loop that sound forever, which we don't want. And then uh, also the rate of playback. One is normal, but you can also go down to 0.5 or 2 if you want to change the rate that it plays back. So we're just going to click this method. For the sound ID, we're going to say explosion. Right volume, we're going to say 1, which is going to be the highest. And le I mean, the left volume, 1, and the right volume, 1. The priority, we're going to set to 0. The loop, we want to set it to 0 because we don't want it to, to loop forever and the rate we're going to set to 1 because we want it to play back normally. And there we go, we're pretty much done. Uh, the only other thing that we can do, or that we might want to do, is basically uh, this might take a little bit to load and if we click before this uh, explosion int is loaded it might give us an error. So we're just going to quickly just say int is going to equal 0, uh, something like that to start out with, and then once it uh, sets this sound pool load up, it'll change it from zero, and then that's just a way we can do air checking. So we're just going to say if explosion does not equal zero, we're going to play. Um, otherwise, it uh, it won't it won't play that. So there we go. Let's just test it out. Make sure everything works. Alright, so let's click on it and I'll turn up my volume. Alright, it's already up. And then we just. Every time we click the screen, up to five at a time. So, there we go, guys. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.